Hey guys, what's up? Anthony from A Bug's Nightmare here, doing a little bit of tissue culture today, so let's get started. Right here I have a culture of Dionea muscopula seeds, well seedlings now, and I planted four of them, and well I flashed up four of them, and I got all four 100% germination, so they're all making their first traps right now. The cotyledons are either broken free of the seed coat or stuck there, but I can still see at least one trap forming on each of the seedlings. Three of them have their root poking through the gel and one doesn't. So I decided to move them over, give them a little more room in this new vessel here, this big cube. That'll also let me document them better with pictures and videos for the next couple of months. Now what I'm doing right here is I just banged down some of the condensation and then poured it out onto the Lysol wipe. I don't want that floating around in there, um, potentially covering the seedlings or just evaporating and making a lot of condensation on the walls which makes seeing inside much more difficult. Generally if you end up with a little water pooling in there it shouldn't be a big deal but it's just much neater without it. Here I'm using some stainless steel tweezers that I flamed before putting them into the hood. So what I did was I washed them with soap and water, flamed them with alcohol, and then sprayed them again with alcohol after being flamed, and then put them into the hood and have them soaking in more 91% isopropyl alcohol all the way until they get used for the cultures. So all I did there was flick off the remaining alcohol residue, and now I'm grabbing one of the seedlings I'm going to cover up that culture again. Even though we're in the laminar flow hood, I like to keep things closed as much as possible. Now we're just going to put this seedling into one of the four quadrants. You want to make sure the root is tucked a little bit into the gel. It just makes it easier for it to start growing straight down and not have to crawl across the media looking for a place to dig in. I also wanted to keep the leaves above the media because I've noticed when the leaves are growing submerged, sometimes they don't grow normally. I've had my drosophyllum leaves grow without tentacles until they come up, and then as soon as they break through the surface, they start growing perfectly fine. Basically, the next few minutes is just me getting the next two seedlings in there. So we're all done. We got four roots under the media line and four little plants growing right above. Everything's looking perfect in there. Hopefully in a few weeks these guys will have multiplied in size and we'll be able to see what some of these traps look like. These seeds came from a very cool European cultivar that was selfed so a lot of those offspring I've seen online have made some really cool traps or mutant babies, and I'm hoping some of these do the same. So that's it for this video. These are close-ups of the four seedlings I just replated. If you enjoyed the video, click like, leave a comment. If you want to see more, click subscribe. And don't forget to check out my Instagram channel at A Bugs Nightmare. That's where I post the most updates of both my tissue culture work and my regular in vivo carnivorous and exotic plant garden.